Hello, this is Andy with Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC tune-up guy. Today is, I don't know what day it is, uh, November 17th, Wednesday. I got um, a laptop here in from a client, an old one, an old Sony Vio, and a new HP, and I'm transferring over her data. And uh, I'll show you these two laptops real quick. But the new installation setup of uh, Windows on these HP laptops don't allow you to put in a local account. Um, when I was doing the VirtualBox uh, version of my video last week, I showed you how to bypass it with sign-on options. That doesn't work now. And it may be the version of Office, or not Office, but Windows, that's on this HP laptop. And this HP laptop is a... It's an HP 17-CP 1124OD. It's a Ryzen 3, 256 solid state, 8 gig of RAM, no optical, Windows 11, 17.3 inch. And uh, I recommended that for a client. She had an old Sony Vio, and I'll show you that too here. But let me show you the tricks to get around this new problem of getting a local account created on a new Windows 11 installation, okay? So here, let me zoom in and show you what this is, looks like, okay? Okay, so, as you can see, these are the two laptops, side by side. This is a Sony Vio VPC F1115 uh, FM, okay? That's what this is, okay? You can probably see that. And then this one over here is the new HP laptop. So, I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in on the new laptop, and hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Let me zoom in here. And hopefully we don't get too much reflection. I'll turn it this way so you can see it. All right, let's turn it on. <clears throat> I'd already turned it on once. And when I ran into this problem, um, I actually saw the issue and immediately figured out a way to get around it. So I rebooted the computer. Um, I rebooted the computer as out of box, you know, res reset, and uh, let's see if it does it. I'm going to pause the video here just for a second. I think you can see that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I don't like the fact that the resolution is so um, so low. I'm going to pause the video just for a second, okay? And then uh, we'll be right back because this might take longer than I expected. Okay? One second, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. When I first turn this HP on, it comes up to this. It comes up to Windows 11 Setup. I'm going to say yes, United States. Now, just follow along here real quick. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Yes. Skip. This is all normal stuff. Uh, I can't do anything. I can't connect. I can't go on without connecting. So I'm going to go ahead and connect. Okay, I'm going to connect to Mountain Computers. And I'm going to go ahead and put in um, our Wi-Fi password. And uh, once that's done, I'll say next. Okay. Now I'm going to go next. Now, before, you could say, I don't have network connection, and it would let you go ahead and put in a local username and password. If you did connect with the Wi-Fi, it would make you sign into Microsoft. So this is where I want you to learn that in order to get around this problem that Microsoft is creating for us, to where you have to, and they want you to create an online account, you don't have to. You can still create a local account, but you have to be tricky about it. So accept this license agreement. This is very tricky. At first I wasn't sure it was going to let me. See, now right here, it says sign-in options, okay? Right there. Those are your options, right? So the last video I showed you, I said, okay, sure, sign-in options. I'm going to create a local account only. I click that. No option, okay? So this really sucks. I can go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to zoom back out here. Now here's the trick, and I'm going to be real quick about it, okay? I'm going to be really quick, running out of power. Um, hold down the keyboard and press Shift F10, okay? This brings up 
the backdoor account by pressing Shift F10. This is just like Windows uh, setup. You can um, do things here. I mean, I can look at my IP config and I can see that I'm connected. Okay, so there's my connection. Make sure you can see this. Um, move this over a little bit. Okay, so this is what I did. I said, okay, well, can I release the config? Uh, it did, but then it put it right back. So I'm like, oh, well, that sucks. So if I try and ping like yahoo.com, I'm still on. Okay, so it's screwed. I can't get around this. So I went back. It still keeps me in the sign-in loop. So I'm like, well, this is sucks. So if I go Shift F10 again, I said, okay, can I disable the network interface? Because on the keyboard, there is no Wi-Fi on and off. On this model, there is no Wi-Fi on and off. It's just on. So I said, okay, let me bring in the control panel. I thought, okay, maybe I could bring in the control panel. Why is this not zooming in? This sucks. What the heck? What is up with that? Okay. Wow, this really is zooming in and out. I'm going to zoom out. There. All right, so I'm going to bring up the control panel. C-O-N-T-R-O-L. So when I brought that up, I get the classic control panel. So I'm going to go straight to network, okay? View network status. Right now, I'm going to change the adapter settings. This is the trick. I'm going to go over here to my Wi-Fi. I'm going to right-click on it, and I'm going to say disable, okay? Because I just disabled it, I come back over here, if I go back, there you go. There's your local account in in entry. So I'm just going to type in this lady's name. Her name's Annette. No password. We'll put a password on later. And that's it. Turn off all this stuff. You don't need to know my location. You don't need to have to find my device. Diagnostic data. Turn that all off. I wish there was a disable all. Come on, Microsoft user interface people. And then go next. And that's it. I don't need to put anything else. I just next, next. It's fine. That's it. So anyhow, folks, that's what you do. That is exactly what you do. And um, I can tell you without a doubt. Um, let me see. Zoom out. Now, yeah, there we go. That little trick that I just showed you. You get to Windows 11 on a laptop or PC, whatever and you're plugged in. All I say is when it asks you for it to sign in to Microsoft and it doesn't give you the option for a local account, unplug the network cable, disable the wireless, somehow, physical switch, or bypass, shift F10, type in control, bring up the network status, disable the interface, go back to that step, go back, and then it'll give you the local login, okay? And that's it. So this is Andy from Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC tune-up guy. I hope this looks good. I hope it's not blurry. And uh, there'll be more to come. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Andy with Mountain Computers again. This is just a quick appending note. After you disable the Wi-Fi by doing the F10 bypass and going to the control panel, going to network devices and statuses, disable the Wi-Fi. Once you get done with the rest of the load, you're going to want to re-enable that Wi-Fi device. Here, let me show you how real quick, okay? And let's just zoom in on this real fast. The same thing you did to uh, just Windows logo R, do control, brings back up your control, go back to view network status and tasks, go to change adapter settings, and go ahead and right click on your Wi-Fi adapter and re-enable. Okay? That's what you do. Then you can go ahead and finish configuring your computer. It'll go ahead and reconnect you, and you're back online. Okay? So, that's it. Just remember to do that. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.